And so, it appears that there are a few types of love. What are these types of love, which are set on the wheel of love? First, I will go to the Ludus love. And this is actually my favorite. Ludus means game or school in Latin. The term is used to describe those who see love as desire to want to have fun with each other, to do activities indoor and outdoor, uh, tease each other, indulge each other, and play harmless pranks on each other. And this also is easy through internet. Actually, now I have uh, two or three <laughs> favorite girls, which I'd like to practice this thing. And uh, the one that is, uh, uh, let's say this is uh, more mind, this is more uh, physics or biological eros is the Greek term of romantic, passionate or sexual love, uh, from which the term erotic is diverted. Uh, it's described as passionate, physical, e physical and emotional love feeling of wanting to satisfy, create sexual contentment, security and aesthetic enjoyment, aesthetic, aesthetic enjoyment for each other. And uh, this is uh, the sexual love in general. Okay, the thing is, between these two, there is the uh, most dangerous love and that should be mania and uh, its point is survival I forgot to mention that uh, let's see mania is derived from the ancient Greek term meaning mental disorder from which the term maniac manic is diverted maniac okay uh, defines as flowing out of desire to hold one's partner in high esteem and wanting to love and be loved in this way, seeing specialness in the interaction. Okay, this is some sort of obsessive love that uh, I don't think a lot of people like. Okay, and we are going to the more neutral loves. That should be this place pragma, which, which is based on the mind. Pragma comes from the ancient Greek term meaning business-like, from which term like pragmatic, pragmatic or pragmatic are derived. Defined as the most practical type of love, not necessarily derived out from the romantic love. Rather, pragma is a con convenient type of love. I like this too. All right, now we're going to Storge or Storch, maybe. Storge is the Greek term for fam familial, familial, family love. Uh, Storch is defined as growing slowly out of friendship and based more on similar interest and commitments to one another rather than, than a passion. Uh, I think this is how, let's say, mothers love their children and things like that. Right, this is love for family and the orange one, agape. Okay, let's see it. Agape is derived from ancient Greek, Greek term for altruistic love. Described as an altruistic love given by the lover who see it as his obligation without expecting reciprocity. 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 Okay, this is uh, actually maybe like uh, I love or people love uh, movie stars or song stars, things like that. <laughs> or TV persons. Person. Persons. Does persons has plural? One person, two persons. Hmm. Okay, and that should be uh, agape. Lovers are usually older and more emotionally mature. Thus, a love guided by will and reason. 
Ah, well, I should be mature. I have a few uh, white hairs. I'm preparing to become Galf Gandalf the White, if I haven't mentioned that before. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is, in general, the one, two, three, six types of love. Now we are educated. And happy Monday!